Hello everyone, exciting times today because there's a new synth out and it's dangerously good, uh, dangerously fun to use and easy to use. So we're gonna take an overview of that synth which is Pigments by Arturia and also I'm gonna show you how to make that sound. Let's do this. So this is Pigments, it's fantastic. It's a wavetable based synth by Arturia. If I had to summarize the strength of this synth, I would say um, juicy filters, amazing filters, lots of control on the wavetables, and also easy modulation assignments. One, one thing I'm gonna start is by showing you, uh, here it's the, the Ghost Act Analog Wavetables uh, September, uh, I guess it was my late, latest update from September. Um, and those are, yeah, it's, it's the, our, our Ghost Act Analog Wavetables, but it, it, those are made for Serum. But a fantastic thing uh, that I discovered is, uh, and I, I was looking like how to actually import some wavetables in the synth, and it's as easy as drag and drop, my friends. So I'm gonna take the Anaconda saw, which is, if you follow our tutorial, you know it's my favorite. So I just drag the uh, wavetable file and that's it. And if you take a look at this and now, uh, you have the wavetable in 3D, which is pretty badass, but I would say 2D is the best way to look at your wavetable once you've just like scanned and you know uh, how it looks like. The thing why um, um, I, uh, why I say 2D is better is because you have a bunch of control over the wavetable here and you have direct visual on what is happening to you, what, what you're doing to your wavetable. So, I'd go in, in, in 2D, if, if you, you stay in 3D, you don't have all that uh, visual goodness. Um, so Anaconda, so that's one of our wavetable. And if you take a look here in the imported wavetable, I've done this in the past, so I have like a second one. But those are other wavetables from our pack that I've uh, just imported in the synth. And you have access to all that. But I'm gonna stick with the Anaconda saw. And if you take a look here, you have the frequency modulation, so you have uh, direct access to frequency modulation. You have a phase modulation here. You have phase distortion and wave folding for both these uh, controls. You have uh, two knobs that you can play with. Also, the modulator here, it has, uh, you have nice control over the modulation you put here. It has nice effects and you, you, you can get some, some pretty uh, nice stuff, especially for side trance dubstep if you want to go really uh, growly. You know, and always with nice uh, visual here. You can you can see what you're doing to you to your wavetable, and so that that's pretty cool. Uh, I won't go into you know uh, a lot of details today. But I, I just want to give a, a small overview, and also I want to show you how to make that nice sample and old sound. And you have uh, the filters. You have du dual filters here. I'm already in love. I, I'm in love with the filters. The, the, these are great. You have the multi mode, so you know those are pretty standard. But they sound they sound fat. It, it, this this synth is if you can c compare it to Serum. Serum is like uh, it, it's nice. There's a bunch of control, but you, in the end you still know it's digital. Uh, but this one, you know, you have like the analog colors uh, in the filter, so it's 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 amazing. Uh, yeah, I know it's it's the honeymoon for me, so I'm like uh, really in love with that that synth. And you have uh, SEM. Uh, also, you can uh, go into different modes. Those are, are nice. It, it results in nice sweeps over the spectrum. Uh, you have the Matrix, uh, and you have the Mini. So those are more like uh, uh, just dif different algorithms of filter, but uh, st still some standard filtering. And you have Surgeon, which is like really just really precise uh those are really heavy uh, heavy cuts and uh but useful too uh you have a, a comb which is what we're going to use for the 
the, the sound we're going to do today. Uh, you have phaser and formant. Uh, well, well, in fact, we're going to use both the formant and the uh, comb filter. So we're going to start with the, the comb. I don't remember by heart uh, what we had in the other patch, but in, in the end, it's more of the, in the filter game. So let's start with the, that wave table. <laughs> Okay, we want to get uh, some FM action here. Also. Uh, I want to want it a bit more broken sound. Nice. And you had the gain here. It's it, basically if you have zero, you're not going to hear what the comb filtering is doing. And if you go all the way, you really have those like me metallic spikes. So we want to be somewhere in between. Yeah, that's cool. Not exactly what we had on the previous patch I showed, but similar sound. Um, also, and we're going to set up already the second filter, which is the format filter. So now nice. cool. If you have too much resonant spikes in the end, it's it's a harder sound to work in your mix down, so that's not necessarily a good thing. The idea is to like, get a sweet spot of uh, in, in the comb filter and also here. Well, here, don't worry too much because it's, it's going to move. Now it's time to put some movement on the sound and I'm going to show you how you can assign some modulation in uh, pigments. So you have envelope, LFO, function, and random. We're going to use random later. Um, it's Envelope is su super easy. You have your uh, amp envelope, you have envelope two, envelope three. Let's say you want to assign uh, the frequency here on the envelope. You just click on the envelope and then it, it switches into that um, uh, assignment mode. Uh, well, and then you can, this reminds me a, a bit of um, Massive in terms of how you, you really assign stuff. And this is the course of action of my modulation. I need to close that down, and then this is going to be affected by the envelope too. So now it's time to uh, put some motion with the sample and old here. If you go in random, you have three different uh, random uh, modulation you can put. You have Turing, you have sample and old, and binary. And yeah, it's I don't know it. I don't know if it could be like more. Uh, visually simple. It's, it's literally showing you what is what what the modulation is doing. Okay, in like visually. So uh, we we're, we're gonna use the uh, sample and old, and we're gonna assign it to the format because the format really has uh, the nice uh, the nice tones. Okay, so we want to put motion on that. Uh, gonna go here, sample and old. We're gonna put some bipolar action here. And what is left to do is just to make set up the filter properly so the course of action of the, the, the modulation is interesting. That we don't want it to go in frequencies that we, we feel are are less uh, less less useful. We just want to set it up right. I adjusted the frequencies because uh, it, with the, the comb filtering at, at that place was uh, not sounding so good. But here is it's really how you can get that metallic sound. There's one last thing we are going to do is we're going to go with functions instead of LFO function is, is really, you have much more control over it. Uh, we're going to get that rate of 116 
and we're going to assign that. We're going to go here and put the volume down and assign the function to the volume. We're basically going to create some uh, 1 6 1 16th gate like this. And then you, you, with the shape, you can really uh, decide if you want something that is more uh, plucky or some some still have a gate that opens a lot. Uh, and that that would be almost it, it for that page, um, you know. And if you, we can uh, maybe assign some macro action on, let's say, uh, the rate of the synth. But it, it, it does it in a weird way, and that is because this one is changing, the gate is changing, and the sample and old is not changing. So well, to do it properly, uh, we would need to go on here and yeah, modulate the rate to on a similar matter. And you can see how much of it we, yeah, OK, that now we have the exact same modulation. So that should sound a bit less weird. We have some nice, nice metallic sounds. And so that would be rate. We don't need the second engine for that patch. We're going to go in effects. And by default, you have that in pigments. And where I'm going to, well, I don't remember what I had, but I'm sure, uh, for sure, I'm going to put some overdrive here. Mm, you see, it's kind of driving the resonance out a bit too much. The oh, distortion might do it. Yeah, it's much better if if you compare it to the the overdrive. If you just here, it's it's bringing some elements I don't like, mm, and that is much warmer, much better. So uh, maybe some uh, delay, some sweet delay here. We will want to have a short delay and a little stereo spread here. And finally, what I like to do is, and there's like dual filter plus, you can also put a filter here. So um, what I like to do is just have maybe some filtering at the end. So the, 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 the high frequencies are not too harsh. And that would be it for that uh, that sound. Uh, there's uh, so many things uh, you can do with that synth. It reminds me of like how Serum is easy to uh, to use, but it, it's it, you can still have some nice warm sound. And I, I don't feel it's it's digital at all. But also it's it's Arturia. You know, it's coming from a company that that makes hardware synths. I hope you like, I tried to show you as much as possible while being as concise as possible as my ADHD allows me. Don't forget, you can use our wavetables on that synth, they are compatible. So if you already own some Ghost Act wavetables, you just drag them in that synth and you can use them too. We are working on a preset pack for that wonderful synth, so stay tuned if you own that synth or if you're interested, there's some nice presets coming your way. And until then, I will see you in another video. IP producing.